Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to yet another review and this time I am taking a look at Escape Plan which is a brand new Sylvester Stallone slash Arnold Schwarzenegger joint and I was actually somewhat looking forward to this film ever since it was announced like last year it was called The Tomb and I was looking forward to it because of course it was a prison movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone count me in bro and it's finally out now it's called Escape Plan and Hey, what did I think of Escape Plan? Let's talk about the story. The story for Escape Plan, as you would expect, is incredibly dumb. It follows Ray Breslin, played by Stallone, who can escape from pretty much any prison known to man. He does that for a job. He escapes a prison, tells the warden how he did it, what he needs to fortify, and then he gets paid. That's his job, and he does that a lot. I think they said he did it maybe 14 different times, so he's really good at his job. He can escape pretty much anywhere. But of course there's a brand new prison which is supposed to be very fortified. You cannot escape this prison at all. You cannot. There's no way in hell. So of course someone comes up to uh, Stallone's character and says, Hey, you know what? If you can do it, we'll double your pay. If you can escape this prison, we'll, we'll give you more money than usual. And of course Stallone's like, Okay, I'll do it. I like money. So of course he does it and of course he gets tricked. He gets drugged, he gets thrown into this prison, no outside communication whatsoever. Someone wanted him to stay in this prison, and he has to find a way to get out. Because this prison is definitely, you know, breakout proof pretty much. But he can figure out a way because it'd be kind of boring if all we watch was Sylvester Stallone in a prison for two and a half hours. Oh, and of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a main character in this movie too. And he helps uh, Sylvester Stallone's character escape. So that's it. That's the story. Now, while the story is extremely dumb and it's not good, not even a little bit, it doesn't really need to be good. It needs to be entertaining. And for the most part, it does its job. Even though in the beginning I felt it was kind of dragging on a little bit too much, it's about a two-hour movie and it did not need to be that long. The first, like, 30 minutes is extremely slow. You see Sylvester Stallone's character talking about, oh, this is how you do an escape plan and stuff. And at first it's really dumb and and, you know, there's a lot of parts where he just gets lucky and stuff. At least that stuff was actually well paced for the most part. So the escape plan in the beginning, while dumb, kind of fun still. It, it was stupid, but it doesn't matter. Um, after that, there's a whole like 20 minute sequence of him talking to some of the side characters, like 50 Cent's character and Vincent D'Onofrio and Amy, a a Amy Ryan's character. And all that stuff is extremely boring. But once they finally get into that prison where Arnold Schwarzenegger is a character, it just it just gets fun. It just gets really entertaining because Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger, when they're on the screen together, hell, even when just Arnold Schwarzenegger is on the screen, it's so fun. It really is. The dialogue is dumb, but they sell it completely. The, the interaction between the two is great, just completely. The characters are very entertaining. You, you actually do kind of like both of them. They're not just the, the big meatheads are dumb. Even though the stuff Stallone's saying is kind of dumb at times, his character's meant to be smart, and you can kind of see that Sylvester Stallone, even though he can barely talk, you can see he could be a smart guy. And I really like Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. He's not the, the big meathead douchebag in the beginning. He's actually kind of a nice guy at first. He's like, hey man, Stallone, I want to be your friend. Tell me what you got, what you need, and I'll do it. You want me to bust up that dude? I'll freaking break his neck. I'll do anything, man. Hey, I just want to be friends. From the moment they meet to the end of the film, it is very entertaining with the very few occasions where it actually does go back to kind of being boring and kind of being slow here and there. But besides that, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger is awesome here. Stallone is good when he's with Arnold Schwarzenegger and they're both doing their, you know, they're doing their thing with dialogue and stuff. Schwarzenegger just completely steals this film though. He is so charismatic. He is so funny. The dialogue they give him is not very good dialogue, but he does it. He does just, he just does a great job of saying lines as everybody yeah everybody knows that but uh Schwarzenegger I'm just glad he's back I mean sure he's been back for a little while but he is back he is he's back he's back I, I, I love Schwarzenegger I really do that wasn't me having a seizure that was my Arnold Schwarzenegger impression uh, if you couldn't tell um my Stallone impression is perfect Schwarzenegger not so much um but yeah he's great in this I even like the villain of this film played by Jim Caviezel he's actually very cool he has a cool demeanor about him and then later on he actually starts to go a little bit nuts i kind of like that i actually really liked him in the film he's a pretty good villain for the most part he, he, he's a good uh foil to uh compare is that the word i'm looking for he, he's a good villain just leave it off at that uh the supporting cast is okay for the most part the main three actors 
Schwarzenegger, Stallone, and Jim Caviezel all do a great job, though. I really, really enjoyed this film. I did not think it was the best. The first 30 minutes were very slow, and then there was occasional moments where it did dip down. And also, the movie is extremely dumb. But there's actually moments where it is very fast-paced, even if it is dumb. And, of course, I really like the characters. So, of, of course, you know. I really enjoyed this film. I didn't think it was great. But it was fun. I'm going to give it a 29 out of a 40. There you go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.